Hi, I'm Bruce Busby, President of Roots Magic. And in this short video, we're going to show you the new tools page in Roots Magic 9. Now, Roots Magic has a lot of different tools uh, available, and most of them are on the page uh, that the tool works with. So, for example, when we're on the people view, people page, the tools have to do with people counting the number of trees, merging duplicates, seeing a list of problems with people. If I'm on the places page, then the tools tend to be things with places, being able to geocode the highlighted place or split a place, um, split the, the place detail and the place apart from each other, show unused places, things like that. If I'm on sources, my tools, are things like deleting, copying, merging sources, bringing up the source templates, and so on. Now, that's great having your tools where you need them, but we've in version nine, what we've also done is we've added a new page called Tools. And when you select Tools, what we've done is we have tools categorized uh, to make it easy to find the tools without having to dig through the menus on the individual pages. Now, not all the tools that are on those other pages are on this tools page, uh, but the ones that maybe you would use the most often and don't necessarily need you to select a particular person or a particular place uh, or a particular source in order to run the tool. Things that are more general will be here. Now, we have different categories. We have database tools. We have person tools. We have group tools, for so tools for working with groups. We have fact tools, place tools, media tools. And then we have other tools, which are tools which maybe don't fit into a specific category, or maybe they work across multiple categories. So they're kind of in, in this little group by themselves. Now, to run a tool, it's very easy. You just select the tool, you highlight it, and when you highlight it, over here on the right, it's going to show you the name of the tool, and it's going to give you a description. This tool counts the number of trees in the database. And to run the tool, you just select Run Selected Tool. So I do that, and there's my results for the number of trees. In this case, there's three trees in this file. It works similar for any of the other. If I want to rebuild the indexes, it shows that I'm going to be re rebuild the indexes. I run it. And it, there we go, the, the indexes have been uh, rebuilt. Now, rather than show you all of these tools, because like I say, a lot of these tools are already in other sections of the program. I'm gonna show you that some of the tools though that are new to Roots Magic 9 and are new to this tools view. So the first ones I'm gonna show you are this rearrange children and rearrange spouses. Now, Roots Magic has the ability to rearrange the children in a family. If you're on the person view, you can go in, select a family, say rearrange the children, and it'll rearrange, let you rearrange the children in the family. Same thing with rearrange spouses. You can select a person and it will let you rearrange the spouses for that person. These are different in that Rearrange children rearranges the children in every family by their birth date. So instead of you going in and dragging and dropping them into an order, it automatically goes through every family and rearranges the children by the birth date. Now you'll notice that there's a warning here and any of these tools that might do a lot of changes or might make a lot of changes that maybe you aren't going to eventually want, it's going to give you a warning and it's gonna be in red and then it's going to let you know you might want to make a backup of your file before continuing because if you do this particular tool and you don't like the results, you're going to need to restore a backup to undo those results. Okay, and what this, the, the warning in this is that children uh, without a birth date are going to sort uh, sort to the, to the, you know, they won't sort in a birth order because there is no birth. So it's warning you about that. Um, and when you do one of these and you say select, run the selected tool, it's going to, in this case, it just, it did it. I just, I just did that. Okay. The next 
one, the next new uh, item is this one right here. And let's just delete everyone in a group. Now, this is one of the most requested features that we've ever had going all the way back to actually be even before Roots Magic, back to our old family origins days. And that was the ability to delete a bunch of people in the file all at once. And we've always been hesitant about putting that in because it's so dangerous. We don't want people going in and deleting half their database or all of their database and then coming back to us and saying, oh, by the way, I didn't have a backup and I just selected this and deleted half my database. How do I get them back? And, you know, we hate to be, hate the idea of being the one to tell them there is not a way to get them back. Okay, but what we've done here to make it a bit safer is rather than rather than bringing up a list and saying, select these people and then we're going to delete them, what we do is we will let you delete all the people in a particular group. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to select a group. It brings up the groups that I have defined, my cool group, for example, and I'm going to click OK. And that's the group I'm going to delete. Now, if I were to click Run Selected Tool, it's going to allow me to delete all the people in this group. Now, the reason that this is safer is because you physically have to create that group. And so you create the group. You can, when you're working with that group, you can go in and look and see who's in the group. You can make sure that group only contains the people that you really are wanting to delete from the database. And then you just come in here, and I'm not going to do this, but I can click Run Selected Tool, and everybody that is in that group will be removed from the database. Okay. And again, there's that warning because that can be dangerous. So you, we're going to strongly recommend you make a backup before you do something like that. Okay, this one right here, combining and manipulating groups. Uh, this is a new feature that lets you take two groups and combine them in different ways to create a new group. And I'm not going to go into the detail on this because it can take a while. And we have another video on all of the new group features in Roots Magic, and I will cover, uh, I cover this particular feature in much more detail in that. Okay, the next one, change a fact type for everyone. This is another one that we've had a lot of requests for. And what this lets you do is change a fact type from one thing to another for everybody in your file. So for example, I might go in here and say, uh, select a fact type and I might pick baptism. And maybe I want to convert that to a christening. Okay. And again, it's warning you to make a backup. If, when I click Run Selected Tool, it's going to go through my database. And everybody that has a baptism fact, that baptism fact is going to be turned into a christening fact. Okay. It's going to do that for the whole database. Okay. Um, here's another similar one. Remove a fact type from everyone. And what this lets me do is maybe maybe I've imported a GEDCOM file and it's got a bunch of reference numbers in it that I, I don't want them. Well, I can go in here and I can select reference number. And when I run this tool, it's going to remove all events with this selected fact type. So it's basically going to go through my database and just remove all the reference number facts from everybody in my file. Again, there's my warning. Make a backup first. Okay, now the, the last feature that I'm going to show you that's a new feature in the tools is the enhanced properties list. Now, you ha we have a properties list, so if you go up to the home page right here, you always have your file properties right here. And it basically gives you some basic information, the number of people, families, events, alternate names, and so on. It just kind of tells you how many of everything there are. Well, the enhanced properties list, when I run that, it's going to give me that same information, but it's going to give me much more detail than that. So it's going to show me that I have those 1,819 people, but it's also going to show me how many of them are male, how many are female, and how many of them have an unknown sex. Okay, it's going to show me how many names I have, how many of those are alternates, how many families, 
How many of those families only have one parent? In other words, just a father or just a mother. How many of those families have no children? Fact types. How many of those, how many fact types do I have? 73. Eight of those are user defined. 46 of the fact types I'm not using. And three of the fact types need to have the sentence template created for them. Same type of thing with events. How many are proven, disproven, disputed? How many witnesses do I have? How many of my events have no sources? Okay, how many associations do I have? Associations is another new feature in Roots Magic 9 that lets you uh, track relationships that are non-family relationships, friends, neighbors, uh, enslavement associations, things like that. And there's another video uh, dedicated to associations. So uh, I, I recommend you go check out that video to learn more about associations. Same thing with places, how many of them are unused, how many uh, have not been geocoded, sources, how many citations, citation links, how many sources don't have any citations, how many unused citations do I have? In other words, I've, where I've got a citation that nothing is using. Um, and so on, you know, there's there's a bunch of these. And some of these items actually have like a view. So like unused citations, if I wanna see those, I can click view and that will open up this little list and this will show me the unused citations. So I'll, I can see where they, which ones they actually are. Same thing with unused media, unused tasks and so on. Anyway, so this has been an overview of our new tools page and some of the new tools that we've added in, in Roots Magic 9. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you find this useful and we will talk to you again soon.